guys, welcome back. So now we are working on problem number five, and the question says, complete the identity one minus cosine squared of three x equals what? So this is actually going to require us to use a very common trig identity, which says that the sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta is equal to one. So now we just have to figure out how to use this identity to solve this problem. So one thing that, one of the first things I notice is that inside of these parentheses is a 3x instead of this theta, but that's a pretty easy um, thing to fix. So all we are going to do is we are going to let theta equal 3x, and now I'm gonna go ahead and just rewrite this first line. So now I have sine squared of 3x plus cosine squared of 3x is equal to 1. So now, since I want it to be 1 minus cosine squared of 3x, I'm going, to I'm going to go ahead and subtract this cosine from both sides to bring it from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So doing that, I'm going to get sine squared of 3x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared of 3x. So now, just rewriting this, I'm just going to switch the sides. 3x is equal to sine squared of 3x. Oop, x, there we go. And this here is our answer. Let's check it out over here. And we see that it is letter A. So I guess the hardest part of this problem may have been knowing to use this trig identity. But with practice, you'll start to catch on to little nuances that will tip you off on when to use this. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, my email will be in the description box, and I'm also a math tutor if you're interested in any tutoring. All right, thanks for watching.